Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIOT. In today's class, we are going to interface a Raspberry Pi camera to the Raspberry Pi. And we are also going to check how to capture an image and record a video. Okay. So for that, right now we are into the Raspberry Pi operating system window using VNC server or VNC client. In that, we need to open the command line interface or the command prompt. Okay, so this is how a command prompt looks. First, let us uh, update our OS. Okay, so for that, we need to type few comments. These are the comments you need to study for the part of exam. Okay, so before that, for the Raspberry Pi, you also need to interface the Raspberry Pi camera. Okay, I have already made a short video how to interface the Raspberry Pi camera to the board. Okay, so I will put the video link in the description please go through that video okay if at all you don't know how to interface or install a raspberry pi camera to the board that uh, video will be useful okay so once you connect the raspberry pi camera to the board and power up and go to the operating system window just open the command line interface this is how a command line interface looks and first let's update the whole settings or the os okay for that we need to type sudo space apt apt minus get update okay and press enter so this is how we update the os or all the packages present in the raspberry pi os okay this is going to take a couple of uh, minutes okay let's wait for them see it has been done now what we need to do is you also need to upgrade okay so for that sudo space apt minus get upgrade okay these update and upgrades are just two comments to make sure that we have uh, an updated os okay so just type enter or just press enter okay so we can see all the packages and several uh, os will be uh, upgraded okay after that what we need to do is we need to enable the camera options for that what we need to do is type sudo space raspi that means raspberry pi hyphen config okay configuration press center see there is a window appears and there are so many options over here what we need to do we need to enable the camera option okay so for that you need to go to interface option okay just press down down arrow you will find an interface like uh, interface option okay and press enter okay so once you get into that particular window at first you will be finding camera enable or disable option okay just press enter select that and press enter okay so you will find a window like would you like to enable camera support or not okay so select yes and press enter see legacy camera support is enabled okay just press enter okay again it goes to the previous uh, menu what we need to do is select tab and click on finish okay again we go to the command line prompt now what we need to do is in order to set up the camera we should just reboot the whole raspberry pi os okay for that we need to do type sudo and reboot okay press enter see it is what it's showing is the window has been closed that means the operating system of the raspberry pi is getting booted okay so in order to check or open that what we need to do is you need to go to putty and see so putty is also showing inactive because the system is getting rebooted okay so again what we need to do is we need to open the putty software okay in the putty software just type our host name okay 
So host name Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi dot local. Okay, just click on open. Okay, you will find a window. Login as my login credential is Ravi. I have typed enter. Okay, my password is Teja. I have entered Teja and pressed enter. Okay, so again, what I need to know, uh, what I need to type is I want to see my OS operating system in the VNC viewer as I am using laptop. So, what I will be doing is I will just type VNC server and press enter. Okay, see, I have got an IP address over here. I will just copy this IP address. Okay. And I will open my VNC. And I will paste the IP address and press enter. See, it is again asking the authentication. I will just type Teja and press okay see it has entered into the operating system of raspberry pi okay so i will once again enter the password and press okay so this is my operating system of the raspberry pi now the os has been rebooted okay now what we need to do is again we need to get into command line or the command prompt of raspberry pi os okay and now what we need to do is for uh, capturing an image, okay, what we need to do is you need to type raspy still, okay, space minus O. O is considered as hyphen O. O is considered as output, okay, space, give some image name, okay. I am giving some CHV dot jpg okay so dot jpg is the uh, format okay so what i will do is now i will place my camera in a particular position okay pointing towards something and i will capture the image just what i will do is i will once i have typed this command i will press enter Okay, see, that means let's check whether the image has been captured or not. I will just type list, that means ls and type enter. You can clearly see over here, there is an uh, image called chv.jpg in the whole this particular uh, uh, folder. Okay, so what I will do is I will go to file explorer. Okay, in the Raspberry Pi. And see, there is an image called chv.jpg. Okay, I will double click on it. See, my image has been captured. Okay, so this is how to capture the images using Raspberry Pi. Now, let's uh, record a video and let's see how it works. So, let me close the window okay now what i will do is i will type in order to record the video i will type raspy vid 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 means video okay space hyphen o o means output space i am giving a uh, name called my video dot h264 dot h264 is the codec or the codex or the we can simply call it as the a type or the format or the extension okay you can name it anything but uh, whenever you are trying to record a video okay you need to give file name with dot h264 that it can be the extension in order to record the video okay so i will again place the camera towards me and I will press enter such that it will be recording a few seconds of video. Okay. So let's see. Okay. See, 
the my video have might have been recorded so i will once again check ls list and press enter okay so see here there is a file called myvideo.h264 okay so again what we will be doing is let's go to the file explorer okay and check myvideo.h264 okay so let's double click on that and see whether the video has been recorded or not see you can see the video okay so the video quality is not much good okay you can see some sort of video right okay so there is a lot of delay you can see in the video as well okay and quality also not that much good compared to the normal web cameras and as well in the daylight it's better it will uh, capture much more a good quality of video okay so right now just what we are seeing is how the comments are used to take the picture using the raspberry pi camera and also how to record the video using the raspberry pi uh, camera okay so this is how to uh, install and uh, use a raspberry pi camera with various uh, commands with respect to images as well as video okay thank you